I think this is easily one of the more anticipated features um, from the lineup, and uh, obviously very topical, but uh, just as a claim for people who have pre-screened for just how well done it is. Um, which it's I great guess to is, hear. Yeah. <laughs> which is sort of the Sundance sweet spot, right? Timely, but also timeless in its, in its craft. So Matt, if you wouldn't mind telling me a little bit about what, what the film is about. I know it's inspired by a real, uh, real yeah, life person. Um, yeah. The story's about um, a guy named Colin Warner who was arrested for a murder that he had nothing to do with in Brooklyn in the early 1980s. And uh, it's also about a guy named Carl King, a childhood friend of his, who devoted his life to trying to prove uh, Colin's innocence. And uh, it was just one of those, you know, unbelievable stories and uh, something I really wanted to try and put together as a film. I understand that adapting anything that This American Life does is a, like a Byzantine, very difficult process. So I'm just so curious about what it's like working with them and, and um, from how you find your actors. They're actually great for me. Um, we didn't produce the film with them, um, but the journalist um, was very supportive of the project, and This American Life was very supportive of the project. Um, so, you know, they've been great friends to us throughout. And then uh, the casting, just uh, initially, uh, you know, um, with Keith and Namdi, I saw Keith in Short Term 12, and I just yeah. thought there was a, you know, I got a sense that he was, I could kind of get a sense of who he was. You know, he was able to be vulnerable and natural, and I thought it was, um, perfect for this role and then when we met it was he was just so open and so moved by the story it felt like a no-brainer and um, Namdi and Natalie you know Namdi um, came in I didn't know him as an actor and he read for me and by the end of you know a half an hour sitting with him workshopping a couple scenes he was the only guy for the role that was it in my mind and um, I had loved the work that Natalie did on David Simon's show show me a hero and um, we reach out to her in New York, you know, when we were prepping the film. So uh, for you two, I mean, it's sort of like a very connected, almost two-hander of a performance. Did you guys do any, I mean, how extensive did you go in the actual case versus what was on the page? We had, uh, um, and, um, Matt had made transcripts from actual uh, hearings available to us. It was a big, thick thing of transcripts, so we got to see literally what was said word for word. So it was tremendously helpful in understanding um, that what we were doing was authentic. And in fact, those transcripts were used and translated uh, into the script, in script format. Um, so we were basically going off of the actual real, you know, situation, which was uh, pretty helpful in, in sort of understanding not only what we were doing, but how we were doing it. We were doing it in a real way. And I was, uh, that was, I was sort of delighted to uncover that. And Matt thought it was important for us to meet the real guys. So Keith spent time with Colin. I spent time with Carl. I got a chance to talk to Antoinette. She got a chance yeah. to talk to I haven't to met Antoinette. her yet. Can't wait. How are they now? I mean, I can't even imagine. They're great. Yeah. Um, they're great. They're here. And they're oh, awesome. here. Yeah. They're, what, they're here in Sundance. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny that the case is from the 1980s, <laughs> but I mean, has anything really changed? It's, like, it's still so rampant. I, there's probably, I'm just curious, like, <clears throat> is it emotional going through it, seeing just you could look at any headline from the past month, week, and you know, whatever. It's sort of the same system we're sort of still locked in. I saw a story on um, Khalif Browder, right? That's his name. Yeah, yeah. Um, and w we researched him a bit, and that was a heartbreaking story. Um, we watched The 13th on Netflix. I mean, you just keep seeing it over and over again. Yeah, it's just unfortunately still timely. Yeah, I mean, when we were location scouting in Brooklyn, and we'd go all over talking to people about the film. And when I told them the premise of the story, they were all like, oh, I know that guy. Or that, that guy That's lives true. down the street from me. And I was like, different guy, same story, you know. Um, Natalie, can you tell us about Antoinette and who she is and how she fits sure. into the story? Um, she's actually uh, Colin's childhood friend that gets recruited in by Carl King's character to help with uh, his in independent investigation. And through that, she learns more about, of course, his case, but then she gets to know the person. And she falls in love with him. He falls in love with her and, and um, you know, the rest is history and it's amazing how their relationship was sustained you know they wrote letters um all kinds of uh crossword puzzles actually um you don't see it in the film but internet told me that like she told me some you know yeah like uh, yeah a little you know a little but she told me that just to inform the character and and the way their relationship uh developed because you know for people who are separated um letters uh, it's almost like sending letters to someone off at war you know it's it's um, it's such an intimate um, exchange of emotions. So I, that was the biggest takeaway for me for Antoinette. She's, she just kept the faith and saw him through it. 
There are a couple of docs here that deal with similar themes. Um, Whose Streets is another big one. But I am curious what you all might think about the importance of having scripted and feature material that serves and discusses the same sort of social issues. Because I think sometimes that art can be that much more moving than, you know, docs are really powerful. But Yeah, and, you know, of course, you know, I think the underlying issue is really important and relevant. But, you know, what hooked me was the people at the heart of this story. And so with a scripted feature, you can really go deep in who those people are. And I think that's, you know, for me, that was the most powerful aspect of this and why I thought, you know, I wanted to put all this time into trying to get it made, you know.